my channel, I know it's been a little while, sorry about that. On Snapchat, I did a makeup look and then I asked if any of you wanted to see a tutorial and the response was incredible, so thank you so much. Right, so we're gonna start off with the eyes because I really wanna show you how I achieve that lifted look. So what I'm using is the Essence, I don't know if you can see that there. It's the Essence Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. So I'm going to use literally a dab and then just my finger to spread it all over. This is one of my favorite, favorite ones. It's the Nudes, all about Nudes eyeshadow. So we're going to start by sweeping this one over first and just taking it into the eyebrow bone. So I'm using my little camera thing there as a mirror. You know, kill two birds with one stone. Put it all over the eyebrow bone. And you can even drag it, whatever's left on your brush, down over the rest of the eyelid. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color here and apply it to the bottom eyelid, the bottom part of the eyelid. So just below the crease, if you want. It's a lovely transition color as well. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this warmer brown color and I'm just going to apply that into the crease of my eye and really make sure that I blend properly. And to blend, you remember to always do little circular strokes. Now don't worry about getting this too neat. And it doesn't matter if it goes all the way out here because we will clean that up. And actually, a little trick that I'm going to teach you is how to almost lift the eye by doing the wipe away. And again into this crease. Right, now we're going to take this color that's darker and build into that and really focus on the corners of the eyes. So here, this is your little C shape there. We're gonna focus on that. I'm not taking it all the way in because I don't want my eye to be too small by bringing the darker color closer. So it is literally on the outer corners. There's also a reason why I haven't done my foundation first, why I've started with the eyes. Because there's no point in wiping away and wiping away your foundation. On this side. So when you can see here, it looks like a complete and that's a mess. Don't worry about it. And then what I want to do, just to bring in a little bit of color, which I'm actually going to use as my blush, I've got the Shape Your Face Contouring Palette. And someone asked me if this was just way too orange. Well, the great thing is it looks beautiful on every single skin color. It, I don't know what it is, it just brings out the perfect shade. But I wanna bring this, even though I'm gonna put it on my cheeks, I wanna bring this for a little bit of a pop of color into the crease again. The next thing to do is to use an Essence Eyeliner. This is my favorite eyeliner of all time. It's the only one that I use. It's Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil and I basically have them in every single shade. Because I'm going for a brown smoky look, I'm going to stick to hot chocolate. Now what I wanna do is I wanna clean all this away. So I'm going to take a good old wet wipe. You wrap it around your finger, so it's like this. And now what you want to do is you want to take it, but you want to angle it up so that it creates a really sharp line. So watch like this. You see that? And then I can move anything away. Maybe you'll be able to see better on this side. There and up. Wipe anything away. and it automatically lifts the eye. Now what I can do is I can go in with my foundation and do my bronze and my cheeks, my eyebrows, and then finish off. So watch this. All right. 
And now that I have got my foundation on, I'm going to go in here with the Shape Your Face Contouring Palette. I'm going to take the brown and I'm just going to put it into the hollows of my cheeks. If you don't, if you want a beautiful jawline, you just put it into the jaw area. Again, you always blend because you don't want a harsh line. So just under the chin and along the jawline. And of course, to try and get rid of a big forehead, I'm just going to dust it a little bit on the top. And now for this beautiful orange, don't be scared of it, cheek bronzer. It is beautiful. And you'll see how it doesn't look orange when you apply it to the skin. It just gives a really blushy, peachy glow. And I, what I love about this is it's got a slight shimmer in it, so it's not shimmer, but it just, when you move in the light, it just gives you that extra de definition of cheekbones. Immediately wakens up, wakens up the face, you don't look like you're ill anymore. I'm just going to line the bottom, but I'm not going to go all the way in, so because I don't want my eyes to be too small, I'm going to bring it to the middle, so basically where the pupil of my eye is. So let me start on this one and I can show you. So from the corner into where the pupil goes. This is what I like to call my Disney princess trick. It is absolutely brilliant and it makes your eyes look really wide awake. So if you're a little bit hungover or you didn't get a lot of sleep, this is brilliant. It is the 2-in-1 eyeshadow and liner. It is waterproof and it is in the color Light Me Up. What you are going to do is you're going to rim the waterline. So you're going to rim right inside, just like this. And this one you can take all the way across. Like that. And for the final thing of the eyes, I'm just going to use Essence's Forbidden Volume Mascara. And finally, the eyebrows, because you are never complete without actually doing your eyebrows properly. What I have here is the eyebrow gel, whoops, and I'm going to brush my eyebrows. It's the Essence Velvet Matte. Look at this color, it is just so gorgeous. There we go. I've braided my hair, I've curled it, and I really hope that you love this makeup tutorial. Let me know in the comment section if you want to know more, and of course, all the products that I have used will be listed underneath. Bye.